For me, when I'm in the savings group investing in my future, I don't get discouraged because I've seen great things happening. As Burundi's smallest ethnic group, the Batwa have been historically marginalized in society with little access to education, employment, land ownership, or financial services. Like most Batwa, Ashil and Malia made their living by making clay pots that they'd sell for 100 francs, the equivalent of five cents. Living in an agrarian society, but without land to grow food, they struggled to provide for their basic needs like food or clean water. They begged to borrow from their neighbors until their neighbors no longer trusted them to repay. And as a pastor of a local Batwa church, Ashil was embarrassed to be in front of his congregation when he didn't have clean clothing to wear. We were living in bad conditions. We were considered non-human, as if we were not created like others. But in 2016, Ashil and Malia joined a savings group for church leaders and their families. At the beginning, we thought it wouldn't work. But after two or three months, we came to understand savings. We also shared more from God's Word together, and we realized how important it was to save. Using loans from their savings group, Ashil and Malia started a business making bread, a lifelong dream of Ashil's. They also saved enough to rent land to farm, where they grow corn, cassava, and sweet potatoes. I'm grateful to the Lord because this is very important to me. Because before we joined this group, I used to stay in my house all day here. But I thank God because now I can go to the group, take out a loan, and bring the money to rent a plot. Now I have many businesses. I feel well when I'm among others because I am in the savings group that has improved my life. When we are saving money, it gives me joy because I know what I'm doing. As their business has grown, they've purchased tables and chairs to create a gathering place for the community to enjoy milk tea and bread. They also launched a small store where they sell flour, corn, cooking oil, dried fish, and more to Batwa and non-Batwa alike. If we kept to ourselves, it would not benefit us. If it weren't for the group members, we'd all still just be doing our traditional pottery with no value, getting nothing out of it. But now, I can get salt and cooking oil for myself. I can get good clothes for myself. It's beyond my words.